Oh, I'm gonna roll my eyes at Justin Bieber, who dissed The weekend yet again. Bella Hadid is whimpering about The weekend yet again. Everybody is talking about The weekend <laughs> except Adele, who's talking about Beyonce. And you're never gonna guess what she did last night after the Grammys. It's happening right now on Holly Scoops Daily Rewind. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Monday, I'm Heather Gardner. I'm Stephanie Gray. Okay, listen, Justin Bieber did not attend the Grammys last night. He was being all boycottish. He was being over it. He's, I'm so over the Grammys, I'm too good for them. Oh yeah, but Grammy he, schmammies. <laughs> he did stoop down to a whole nother level last night. Talking about the weekend. Um, someone a little bitter much? What's new? I believe we heard from him as soon as we found out that the weekend was dating Selena, and he said, Do you want to do the quote? I feel like <laughs> I he love always it. does it I so love well. It. Uh, TMC caught him going, Nah, I don't listen to that music. That shit's whack. That shit's whack. <laughs> Okay, that was the first time, but last night he was hanging out with some friends, again, mm -hmm. being all cool, not going to the Grammys. Right. And TMZ caught him yet again saying sarcastically, oh, my favorite song of the moment is Starboy. And then all of his friends were mumbling around him like, oh shit, that's so funny, oh yeah, right. Because they're so cool like that. <laughs> can, I, can I just say that before this story, I kid you not, I didn't know his song was even called Starboy. Like I know what it sounds like and I know it's The weekend when I hear it, but I didn't know the title. The fact that Justin Bieber knows the title. He listens. You're obsessed. You're obsessed. You're stalking him. I was about to say, he's not obsessed with him and his art. He's obsessed with the fact that, that he he's is. He's with his ex-girlfriend, Selena. I mean, I, there's always going to be this there. I just wish, like, I mean, Justin Bieber, again, like, was doing this whole point of not going to the Grammys and being above it. Not and above then it. And just not above it one at all. They both <laughs> cannot stay out of each other's lives. Uh. And now all they can do is be in the tabloids talking smack about whoever the other person is dating. It's That's so what it's come down low. to. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. And I just like that actually the only person who hasn't done anything is The Weeknd. Because he That's hasn't said anything. He's just doing his thing. He's just playing with Daft Punk. Oh He's God. just getting his Grammys and his awards. And you know Dude, what? Dude, you're right. Yeah, Selena has talked smack. Bieber has talked smack. Bella has talked smack. And The weekend has said nothing. Okay, speaking of Classic. Bella, Bella, she revealed in a new interview, oh gosh, is this gonna be the new Justin and Selena? She will always love The weekend. This is not a new Justin and Selena because it's a one-sided love. Because The weekend again, says nothing about <laughs> anybody to anyone. <laughs> but also, I mean, you know how much this annoys me because if you guys aren't aware, it was Bella Hadid who broke up with The weekend, and now she's the one crying about it, so, she's all so sad and butthurt. Uh, I can't. Okay, here is her, what she said in her new interview with Teen Vogue. It was my first breakup and so <laughs> public. Uh, this is this is her crying on the side. It will be hard for a while, but uh, I'll always respect him. And I'll always love him. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of relate to that. I mean, you always love your first love, I guess. Maybe? This is the most like PR friendly thing I've ever heard in my life. If you were happy to move on and you didn't care, you would pull out the weekend and stop talking about it. I think she it. probably expected like, oh, he'll he'll be hurt too. Nope. No. He just got himself someone better. He Selena. moved on. <laughs> he moved on and she is better. And like the fact that she says, uh, or read the second part because I have something to say about that. Okay, Sorry. okay. Now she has no hard feeling. Again, a PR moment here. Sometimes you want to be sad about it or handle it differently. But at the end of the day, you never want to burn a bridge that you fought so hard to build. What do you got to say? Did she fight so hard to build a bridge with Selena Gomez? Were they even ever best friends? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Again, she's just trying to avoid the drama here, but basically all I get out of this is she's not over the weekend. She hates that Selena and The Weeknd are dating. She wants him back, and she's going to be as polite as possible because The Weeknd doesn't want no crazy. And because <laughs> Selena Gomez is a bigger celebrity than her, so maybe she doesn't want to burn a bridge because they should do some joint Instagram pictures. Because you know what happens off the followers. when Selena gets on Instagram. Yeah, exactly. Could start a feud. I know, but I think maybe Bella wants to like get on her good side, remain on her good side. This is so weird. This triangle is bizarre. It's just very, and it's also very high school. Like I almost, I feel like the friendships in this is what's making Bella say that odd quote. She doesn't want to ruffle any feathers in the Taylor mm -hmm. Swift squad. Um, like, light bulb, Bella, Justin. Just saying. Oh. What a perfect revenge right, scenario right, for right. both of them. All right, we're just waiting for that one. Genius. I'll go. 
Justin's a little too short. Okay, moving on to the Grammys last night. Now, fans were really upset for many reasons. I mean, we had we had the crazy Adele moments. Yeah. We had lots of audio issues last night. We, we had, had Selena not showing up. Yeah, I mean, I'm still upset about that. We had Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce. But fans were really, really upset last night that Christina Grimmie was left out of the In Memoriam segment. Now, I know this sounds bad, mm -hmm. but Heather needed to remind me about who that was before this segment. And mm -hmm. I don't mean that as a diss. I'm just trying to say that does that mean anything in terms of the fact that they forgot her in the... I'm not going to call them obituaries, but in the memorial? Yeah. Memorial. I mean, John Legend um, sang God Only Knows by the Beach Boys, and they listed so many different artists. Leonard Cohen, yeah. Prince, Debbie Reynolds, George Michael. George I mean, Michael. these are just legends that we lost this year. And I'm not saying that Christina's death wasn't tragic, because it was. I cried. I felt it. She had a huge following on YouTube. She wasn't quite as legendary as Prince. I Maybe mean, that's why they left exactly. her out, you know? Heather refreshed my memory that she was a third runner-up on The Voice, was mm -hmm. really good friends with Selena Gomez, and yeah, was like a huge YouTube, YouTube person. Star. And so I guess that got us talking, should we be showcasing YouTube celebrities who also pass away? And that whole, I mean, that opens a can of an entire world of people that we don't usually talk I mean, about at award shows. I mean, I think at some level, you're always gonna piss off somebody because someone's yeah, gonna be left out. Because always left out. If, we, if we listed off every single person, the Grammys would be nothing but a memorial. Mm -hmm. um, so, on one sense I see it, but on another sense, like, if they're trying to do a younger demographic, which I think they have over the last few years, she was a star, and the way that she died was so tragic. tragic. She was murdered at her own concert. Talk about someone, you know, who fought for the industry. I mean, she was right During there. During a meet and greet. Yeah, I mean, really messed tragic. Messed up. Really, really messed up. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't say which side I'm on on this one. Should they have, should they not have? I don't know. I feel like you I guys are going to go crazy if I say no, they shouldn't because right? I didn't even know who she was. I feel like that sounds really disrespectful and I'm just waiting for the rants to go. So go ahead. I guess that's my honest to God opinion. I, I, don't, I don't think know. she should have been included. Thank I, you for being politically I'm correct. Being, One of us I'm needs pleading to. the fifth. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, my goodness. Either way, it's really sad. YouTube needs a separate entire... I know they have the streamies. Yeah, the streamies. But they need an even bigger Grammy-esque, well, Oscar-esque thing. Especially considering that that form of entertainment is even bigger now. Or the Grammys and the knows. Oscars should just start including all these things. That's or a that. topic for yeah, another true. day. Okay, speaking of the Grammys last night, we got to talk about Adele, who... I mean, we knew we were going to talk about Beyonce. We knew we were going to talk about her. But Adele stole the show. She stole all the awards from Beyonce, quite literally. <laughs> It was Adele's night, and rightfully so. I'm sorry, Hello was the best song. Yeah. I loved her album, 25. I lived for it. Adele was the only one, I think, not living for it last night. I I, I loved her before uh -huh. because she was, I've heard she's real. She does these oh, interviews. She's so real. And all this stuff. I'm not a huge Adele fan of the music oh, itself. It's not totally my kind of genre, I but mm -hmm. I fell in, she literally made me fall in love with her last, last night, night for the first time because she was so real so and she real. had the mess ups and she couldn't even hang and she had to turn away from the crowd and I'm just like you represent so many of us that are too scared to show that rawness to the world mm -hmm. I was so, I just loved her well speaking of rawness okay when she won her album of the year for 25 she gets out there and of course she thinks her husband and her manager and blah 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 but then she stops you know what? I can't do it justice. She has to do it. She has to say it. Play the clip. My artist of my life is Beyonce in this album for me. The Lemonade album was just so monumental, Beyonce. It was so monumental. I mean, I'm cry I was crying when this happened. I was so surprised because <laughs> I feel like you have to, as an artist, decide, am I going to spend most of my speech calling right. out other people that aren't me, even though this is my moment? And I feel like she didn't even care, man. No. She just went after it. But the it. thing is, I was waiting the whole time for her to like walk down. Beyonce was right there. Beyonce was there. I was waiting for her the whole time to walk down and like give her Here the you award. Are. <laughs> okay, it turns out though, and this was hilarious, one of her Grammys did break in half accidentally uh, last night. And people were thinking, oh my gosh, she broke her Grammy to give half of it to, to Beyonce, Beyonce. Which is just the coolest thing ever. I almost, I mean, okay. I want to believe it. Flashback to Taylor Swift's 
Grammy actually breaking. breaking. She dropped it because she was holding so many of them. Darn old Taylor Swift. But it does make me think they got to make these a little sturdier, no? Like, get that crazy glue, guys. And that also makes me think that the Grammys in general are just spiraling down the tubes. The mics are going out. No one's showing up. The Grammys are breaking. It's like symbolism. You know? uh, well, I think, I think Vanity Fair said that it was just an accident that she didn't actually break it to give it to Beyonce. But I, in my mind, Beyonce has half of that Grammy. It is hers. It is hers. Okay. It's a Beyonce Dell Grammy. Beyonce Dell! There we go. Okay, guys, listen up. You need to let us know what you thought about everything, the Grammys, all these dishes with The Weeknd. Yes. Please, The Weeknd, he needs to say something. Hello. Say something. Let us know or what you think. keep it classy. No, don't keep it classy. Give us something to talk about. In the comments below, yeah. let us know what yeah. you think, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. All right, guys, yeah. we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.